Alright guys, so today we are going to be discussing the two times money in RP on GT Online being with the Trapdoor Adversary Mode. Now, it's, I mean there's not really much to say, I mean luckily I managed to do it, well I managed to get into a game and it was literally just me and one other person so I could get pr a, a pretty decent starting of um, how much money you actually get from this I got I think overall about 60,000 I think there was I want to say like four rounds or I don't know there might have been six I'm not too sure but there was six rounds well there were there were 60,000 in total anyway and that was just with two of us so what it would be like being like how many you get in a lobby? Yeah, 16. Say, I don't know, 6 on 6. 12 people. 6 on 6. If you get one person, well, two, two, two teams of one person each means 60,000. How much do you think you'd get with two teams, again, but of 6, yeah, 6 people? I don't really know. I haven't done the maths. I may pop the, the amount on the screen. I don't know. It depends whether or not I remember. But it's going to be more than $60,000. So obviously this is double money. So normally two, uh, two people on two teams normally get, I would, I'd say 30000 But it seems like saying it like that, it seems like this is the most easiest way to get money. However, I don't think saying it like that that having more people will actually get you more money but it's a good start so you one other friend um, 60,000 say for just example just say it was five rounds do five rounds it was 10 grand each and whatever and uh, that was me that won each of them because for some reason this person just kept barricading themselves behind a wall but yeah so that's how much you get roughly on completion of winning um, some little tips obviously you do go through where well, you have to run over white or it's the black squares with the uh, the checkers the checked lines in it so they will start off white and then depending on what your color is you run over them and they go to that color now there are the one that I did there are walls that you can take cover behind these are also counted towards your color however you cannot turn them your color just by covering behind them or touching them you have to be on top of them ie climb over them so any surface that is what like the black with the white lines on it any surface like that you have to be standing on it to make it turn your color now this mode does involve weapons however well for most of it I didn't use weapons I was just going around trying to get as many things as I could I then realized that this person wasn't really moving so I kinda just got a couple squares and then just did what she or he was doing hiding behind a wall um, but yeah obviously you can use weapons I it was a bit more fun not using weapons and I think it would be more fun without using weapons completely because it kind of it would ruin the fun because you know what would happen you'd have your teams but you'd have one person on one side with a sniper killing the people on the other team on the other side of the map from a distance and just ruining the fun the point of the game is you walk up well, you run around and select and activating these little floor panels into your color to gain points it's not a matter of how how many kills you get is completely irrelevant the kills do not matter so you don't even need to kill people all it literally is is running around and whoever has the most squares in their color by the time the timer runs out they win there are three sections there are three like sets to this 
Um, so whoever wins, I believe, whoever wins, it's three. It's either whoever wins three or is best of three. Um, but yeah, whoever wins three of them gets, like, wins. So you could do the thing of, like, if you've got four mates and another four mates, two different teams, one of you win, then the next one wins, then the next one wins, and all that. Again, this is one of them adversary modes where it takes teamwork amongst the entire lobby to get a decent payout. For example, the stockpile mode. If you set that thing to 15 minutes total and you got in like five rounds or four, however many rounds it is, if you set that thing to 15 minutes, one round would be, it's like, well, it's about, I think, like $120,000. Imagine that, but with this, where it's two teams with one person on each team, one person wins the whole thing, taking, like, using the whole time limit, you get 60000 Imagine what that would be of five rounds with four on four that would be probably an insane amount of money but that was just a little few little tips on the um, land grab adversary modes just a recap you got three sets to win before the round is over you have got to be standing on these squares to activate them into your color to gain points. And weapons are enabled. You could probably disable them, but I'm not too sure. But weapons are able to be used in this. So keep an eye out for that if you are not the host. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you did. Leave a comment of what your thoughts are on land grab and do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified on any future updates or videos I unleash onto the channel and I will see you all in the next one.